Welcome back guys to a brand new video. In this video, very exciting news, ArcDroid has released their latest firmware update and the latest Simple Trace update and it includes some really cool features. So on the 11th of December, Andrew released the firmware update and then again on the 26th of December, he released the new Simple Trace function. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update the Simple Trace functions in the hand unit and the firmware in the machine just there because you may not have seen my other videos where I did it earlier in the year. So let's do a quick update on how to do that and then I'll take you through the updates and the new features that are included in in the latest updates. All right, let's get into it. Now, before we get started, this is the current software versions on my machine for both Simple Trace and the firmware. Press the gear symbol, followed by pressing the ArcDroid symbol five times in a row. Now press version info. At the top of the screen, you will be able to see the version info for Simple Trace. It was last updated on March 2024, and down below, you'll be able to see the version info for the firmware, and the last update was carried out on the fourth month, 2024. Just here, you can see the simple trace functions before the update has been carried out. To start the update, we need to head over to ArcDroid's website, hit the support button, followed by downloads, scroll down slightly and you will see the Simple Trace and the ArcDroid firmware download options. Now that you've got your two files, you need to extract the first one, which is your firmware, into the empty SD card. Once you've done that, you'll need to extract the second file, which is your simple trace. You'll need to extract the folder first and then copy the folder contents straight onto the USB stick. Now insert the SD card into the unit itself. At this point, I didn't really notice anything change on the screen. The change was noticed when I went into the settings and saw the firmware setting date had changed. After turning the machine off, insert the USB stick that has the simple trace update on it. This whole process took one minute and 27 seconds to complete and I sped the footage up by four times. After pressing home, I went into the machine settings and double checked that the firmware and software had both updated. You can see now that both Simple Trace and the firmware has now been updated. These are the functions that I noticed had changed after the update. I'm not sure what they do, but from what I can see, they create an arc or a three point arc. I don't usually use the simple trace function. I use Fusion 360 and Inkscape to create my projects, but I'm sure that with a little practice, I'll figure those settings out in no time. The second change I noticed after the update was in the tune section where we now have four favorite sections where you can save settings for different thickness materials. This is going to be really helpful as I have handwritten a lot of my settings down and now I'll be able to save them in the unit itself. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Well, I hope you thought this video was helpful in some way. It's just a quick video to show you how to update the ArcDroid CNC to the latest settings that are available on the support section of the ArcDroid CNC website. So remember to like, subscribe and comment, share this video, help the channel grow. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.